we're going to fit the less aggressive 4500 gallon tank. Everybody's excited. I already rang the bell that is unstumped. We're going to give them cut up giant squid. This is for the Piraiba, the big piece. And the pellets, of course. Fin just got a nice big piece of mullet. The one that's for the Piraibo is laying over there. Hopefully it'll come around and get it. That's a Peru Piraiba. I mentioned it several times before, I'm gonna mention it again because some people seem still still seem to be confused. Peru Piraiba does not look like a Capa Prerum. It looks like a Piraiba when we buy them, and later on also. But when we buy them as babies, they, they do not look like Capapretum. But they grow like Capapretum, which is a false Piraiba. So we had this Pira, uh, Peru Piraiba for, uh, I want to say since 2017, so that makes it seven years. We've had it and I don't think it's still, it's still under three feet. Between two and a half and three feet. And it's been this size for several years. It doesn't seem to be, doesn't seem to be growing any. Our new resident T is in the back. Seems to be still stressed. Seems to be stressed still, or not comfortable at least. I don't see him. There is a piece of squid right by him. He's not interested in it. Marble pim. Okay. I don't like it. He says he spit it out. Spoiled brat. One of my concerns is always that they don't stick anything or don't let don't let anything in, uh, drain into the bottom drain. With, there's a lot of water going through the bottom drain. So anything in, the, in its vicinity that gets stuck to the screen or gets sucked inside and, and then I have to get it out of the sump hopefully before it spoils any kind of any big piece of fish. Okay, here comes the Piraiba. Come on, sweetie. Come on. No. A very hesitant fish. It's always, usually, it's the last to feed when everybody's done. Hard to feed them. They're so hesitant and skittish. It's not too hungry, though. I mean, it's. Probably three days ago it had a big piece. And the water is colder right now, about 75 Fahrenheit. Which is... 
21, maybe about 23 degrees Celsius. See, it comes over, it clearly wants to try it, but the giant gourami is working on it. That little pink gourami. So the piraiba shies away until nobody's around, and then maybe he will take it. There's a piece of squid dangerously close to the bottom drain over there. I'm watching it. I hope somebody gets it before we lose it to the filter. Yeah, I give him about four pounds of the giant squid and it's going slow so I I don't see much much gusto in this feeding on on the squid the pellets are going as usual I mean that's it takes them a while to get all the pellets of squid went into the drain. Rats. I'm gonna have to get it out of there, out of the filter. Uh, maybe it's still stuck on the screen. I'm gonna go look. I don't want to freak them out because if I'm gonna go there and start looking and taking it out, yep. Did you see the piraiba take it in the mouth again? And again let it go letting it go. Yeah, I don't want to go back in there. If it's in there, I'm gonna have to use the grabber tool to reach inside. And that may freak him out. Their appetite is not great as it is, so I don't wanna spook him. Sometimes they're just fine with me going into inside the tank. Other times, one fish freaks out and everybody freaks out. Yeah, even if, if Piraiba grabs it, I'm not sure she's, uh, it's, it, he's going to try and swallow it. It's a huge piece of mullet, and its stomach is not flat. As you can see, there's some bulge in it still. Come on, sweetie. Yeah, that silly guard took it. He'll drop it later when he's done playing with it, as if he can handle it. Yep, he's done. He's done already. <laughs> Arowana came down to the bottom to see what it is, what it is that those gurami are working on. nearby but see he wants it but he's he doesn't want to come close yet because those boneheads are working working on it 
and a piece of mullet. Come on, sweetie. Come on, come on. Yeah, let's think about it for a few minutes. I think it's mostly not, not very hungry, that's why it's hesitating. Usually, when it is hungry enough, it would have snatched it already. This is a bit more hesitant than than usual because because of lack of hunger hunger or insufficient hunger here she is again yep somebody freaks out and everybody freaks out Kariba dropped the piece Looks like all the squid is gone. Let's go check it out from above. To make sure there is none in the blind spots. Yeah, I don't see anything behind it. The lip, the bottom lip of the window. So I think they're done. Except for that one piece that I have to see if it's stuck on the screen or if, if it's already in the filter. I guess I'll wait for the Piraiba to make its move. What do you want? You're not hungry. Stop looking at me like that. You weren't hungry enough to go down and get some squid, so don't give me a sad eye now. The gar, they're always... look like they want to eat, but they don't always eat, even if when, when you give it to them. Okay, how long is it gonna take for the Piraiba to come and get it? I hope soon. You saw that it kind of wants to, but it doesn't want it enough. Maybe I'll just I'll just have to take it out and give it to it later, tomorrow or in a couple of days. Give one more chance, and if he doesn't take it, we're gonna take it out. The female sailfin, marble pin, the Layarius pictus, decided it's too big for it, which it is. So now the piece is laying safely in the near the right wall.
Chile and is pushing it towards the bottom drain. Thank you, Jill. I never shut off pumps when I'm feeding anymore. So let's That's why I my constant concern about the food getting washed down into the filter. Rami are trying to rip off edible pieces that they can swallow. See, she's right there again. Shies away because the Niger was there. Pack of Gouramia working on it until they stick it in the bottom drain. I'm gonna have to go and get it out of there. Another gar, another try. Uh huh. It's pretty ambitious. It ain't gonna work, buddy. And now the guard is going to play with it. I think he's about to drop it. He's holding it by the tail, realizing it's way too big for him, I hope. There you go, he let it go. Rami are shaking it. Like an angry dog shakes a plush toy. Come on, Dariva, come on. Right there. Yeah, right. The Gurami are working on it. I'm not gonna join, I'm not gonna come close.
another guard is trying to grab it. Haven't you tried it before? No. Let's try it again. Kurame are using Gar as a as a vice, a tool that holds things down, and then you can work on them. Wow! A big iridescent shark decided to see if it can handle it. Masir is shaking it. Vailanti tried. There come Gurami again. Nolan is going to take you, if ever. If there was nobody around, I think it, it would have taken it. <laughs> I don't know if you caught it, the, the, the bigger bad chased out, chased away some gurami, broke out there. They are getting it up on the piece. You know, another problem is that it is the food is soaked in vitamins and minerals. When it's laying around for so long and it's shaking, and I'm afraid all the goodness, all the fortification that we put in it, leaches out. Maybe not the fat, soluble vitamins and minerals, but certainly the water soluble once they get washed out like vitamin B1 vitamin C I guess sometimes it just doesn't work out. Female Laris Pictus is testing if it can take it. No, you can't. Break off a bunch of pieces from it, off of it. Okay, down they go into the blind spot.
female pictures are still working on it. Still not losing hope. Okay. Looks like she lost it. Back to jerking it around. Come on, Karina, come on. Yeah. <laughs> Came so close. Didn't take it. Okay. Another gar, another try. Is that guard didn't grab it. Maybe it remembered. Yeah, just threw it right in the face of Piraiva. Piraiva just shied away, turned away from it. Come on, come on, so close. Come on, sweetie. Yeah. Tried taking it again, and again didn't take it. Try. No. Nope. All right. I'm done with you. I'm done with you and with this nonsense. Such is our painful feeding.